Welcome to Solvetic, your channel to always learn technology easily. Below in the description, you will find useful links and commands we used in this video. Today in Solvetic we will see how to solve that. The system cannot find the path specified windows. Chapter 1. Validate file path windows. To get started, open File Explorer. There, right-click on the folder and select Properties. There you will check in the Location field the path of this folder or file. Chapter 2. Access Route from Windows Terminal To start, you can copy the path where the element is located. Now open the command prompt console as administrator from the finder. There it will be possible to use the command on the screen to access that path. Chapter 3 Validate Windows Protection Status Again you will open Windows Security There you will go to the Performance and Device Status section Confirm the status of generated maintenance Chapter 4. Do search by name. To get started, open File Explorer. From the search field, enter the desired term. You can see in the results if the element you need is there. Hey, remember to subscribe Solvetic channel. Chapter 5. Edit Windows, Environment Variables To get started, click on the Start menu. Go to Settings and then at the bottom click on About. There you will click on Advanced System Settings. To validate if a root is correct, you will select it. Click Edit to copy it. Then, open File Explorer and paste that path there to see if it exists or not. Chapter 6. Set Folder Owner Windows To get started, open File Explorer. There, right-click on the folder and select Properties. There you will go to the Security tab. Click on Advanced Options. At the top, click Change. Now select the user who will be the new owner. Applies the changes to the displayed messages. Chapter 7, Create Windows File Shortcut To get started, open File Explorer. 
There, right-click on the folder or file and select Show More Options. Then we click on Send To and then click on Desktop, Create Shortcut. Now from the access created, it will be possible to go to that path in Windows. Chapter 8. Configure Antivirus Windows. Open Windows Security from Finder. There you will go to the Antivirus and Threat Protection option. Click Manage Settings. Also, you will confirm that the real-time protection switch is active. Also, you will confirm that the real-time protection. Then, go back to the initial window and this time click on Quick Exam. Wait for the analysis to be executed on the system. Switch is active. Chapter 9. Adjust Windows Folder Access. Open Windows Security again from Finder. Now go to the Antivirus and Threat Protection option. At the bottom, click Manage Ransomware Protection. You are going to click on Protected Folders, click Add a Protected Folder and then select the desired folder. Chapter 10. Update Security Intelligence Windows. To start open Windows Security, now go to the Antivirus and Threat Protection option, there click on Protection Updates. Then click the Check for Updates button and wait for this process to finish. Chapter 11. Use Console as Administrator Windows. For this step, simply open the Command Prompt Console as an Administrator. Chapter 12. Update Windows. There you can access the desired path using the CD command. To get started, open the Start menu, click on Settings, and then go to Windows Update. Chapter 13. Use Advanced Startup Windows. There you will confirm if there are updates available for the system. To get started, open the Start menu, click Settings and then Recovery. There you will click on Restart Now. Confirm the process and the system will reboot. There you will click on Troubleshoot, then click on Advanced Options. In the main menu, click Uninstall Updates. Now select the type of update to uninstall. Wait for the process to complete and if necessary, execute the action. Chapter 14, Check File Windows.
In this case, you simply have to confirm that the file is available. In some cases, such as downloads, they may not be complete yet. Chapter 15. Remove Windows Registry Editor Entries. To get started, open the Registry Editor from the Finder. There go to the root that you can see on the screen. Confirm that there are no values named Auto Run, if so you can delete them. We hope it has been helpful for you. Here are links to watch more videos of your interest and subscribe to the Solvetic channel. Thank you.